Hey guys, it's Ripon. Today I am going to show you how to use live server in Visual Studio Code. So first of all, what is live server, right? Live server is a web development extension that helps you to live reload the dynamic content. And it gives you the feature to right click on an HTML document and it runs a server for you also opens a browser window with that file in it sounds great right so what is the benefit of using it well whenever you make any changes on the html file it reloads the browser so that you can see the changes immediately right so it will boost up your uh, ui development experience that's why it is called live server Okay, now how to install live server and how to update the host and port number. If you don't have Visual Studio code, you can download it from visualstudio.com from here. So I have already in my machine, so I'm gonna create a project, I mean a folder, let's say live server. Okay. I am going to open the Visual Studio code using command prompt. So let's go to live server, then code space dot. Okay, now I'm inside the live server folder. You can do it uh, from file menu also. Go to file, open folder, go to the live server, select folder. Same thing, right? Okay. So first of all, I want to uh, create a file, let's say index.html, right? So I have the file ready and I can create a template like HTML5 template. So this is, let's call it live server demo and a simple h1 tag which is welcome right that's it so this is our html so how can we run it at this moment we can't run it but we can um run from here like you can display using the browser open with the file let's say google chrome so this is the way right so this is not running uh, on any server we're simply opening in the browser that's it right so um, if we make any changes at this moment we can't see in the browser meaning um, we need to refresh the browser right so that is not the main point we want to run this HTML file on a server so for that we need to install the live server go to the extensions type live server so this is the live server it has like and you can click install okay it also gives you some uh, screenshot here okay now we have the live server installed right we can close this so if we go to HTML page I mean HTML and right click you can see open with live server if I do it you can see now it is running on a server which is like 127.0.0.1 colon 604248 slash index.html right so now if I make any changes um, uh, like welcome to our demo if you save it as soon as you save it you can see the changes in the uh, UI I don't need to refresh or anything right okay if you see this is like um, IP address localhost IP address and it has a random uh, port number right and if we go back again uh, you can close the server here from here and if we run again open with live server you will see 
it opens with a different port number 60460 let's try again exposing or you can go from here also go like so it will start again you see now 60468 previously it was 60460 so it keeps changing the port number right so how can we fix it well so we have the setting there if we go file menu preference and then go to setting so if you comes over here you will see extensions um, the setting we want to change is for live server so this is the live server config setting here so this is the default um, um, browser you can change it to like Firefox now we have a browser for Firefox let's dispose it and go live again you will see it is opening in the Firefox see so we can do that um, I love um, Chrome so I, I'm gonna use the Chrome you can also use like private mode or other browser also okay now this is the host if you see this is the host instead of that if you want you can use localhost so then you will see that is on the localhost right but the port numbers is still keep changing right so how can we fix that well for that you can go to like um setting and if you see the setting it has like port number is zero zero means like undefined like so it will uh, set like whatever available at the time so it will select random port number right so we can fix it here let's say we want to keep it 4000 and i don't want to change that port number ever so i can keep it 4000 here right and the chrome browser is here the custom browser is chrome and host name is localhost now if i go live again you will see localhost colon 4000 and if you keep keep running again go live you will see it's still fixed it's not gonna change it so so this is something you have to do for the port number you can do it in the settings.json file right also you can change it here you can also change the firefox from here so if i change it if i go live it is now in the firefox so very simple but it is very handy right I hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video and if you want to get more videos um, you can write in comment section I will try to respond as much as possible so thank you thank you very much